will make us sweet potato pies again in honor of MLK Day. Here you'll see me peeling my already boiled sweet potatoes. I peeled them, I boiled them the night before and uh, pulled them out the refrigerator this morning and I'm peeling off the skin. Uh, they peel very easily when they're boiled correctly. You will also notice that I, I have a knife in my hand. I'm just kind of removing uh, anything else that I don't want to eat. And sometimes sweet potatoes have uh, dark spots on them and, and uh, imperfections that don't actually bake away in the pie. So I kind of just take my time and inspect the potato and I'm going to remove anything that process. This is the first beat and all of that mash at the end of that whisk is actually hanging on to strings. I'm going to show you that as I rinse off the excess you will see that at the bottom of that whipping utensil is just a bunch of strings that you do not want in your pie. And you see them? See them hanging? Those are strings but that's not all. As we continue to whip this sweet potato mash, we will find that there are still yet more strings. So you really want to take your time with this process. This is the most difficult process. The most time consuming part of the whole process is removing all of the strings. Take your time with it. Don't be in a rush because at the end the result of silky, smooth, hot. And that's what you want. You don't want anything that's thick. You don't want anything that's really stringy. That is not uh, That's not going to be easy to have. So take your time with this process. And, and, and as I 
as I'm showing you, we have yet. because this is a long process and here is the finished product after like I said about 90 minutes 90 to 95 minutes because I like mine's nice and brown I 